Hi, Venus. This is Dr. Srikanth from Team MDS Conquer. Now I'm here to discuss few important aspects related to the instrumentation in endodontics. So coming to the two most commonly used slow speed rotary instruments are the GG drills and the piezo rimmers. Okay. So what is the peculiar difference? How you can identify these GG drills? Okay. The GG drills are basically useful for one is orifice opening or orifice enlargement. Second one is deeper penetration into stride canals to remove any obstructions and by removing the lingual shoulder in the case of your mandibular anteriors means the cutting area will be of lesser dimension. Whereas your piezo rimmers, the primary purpose of piezo rimmers is the post space preparation. Whenever you have to prepare a post space, you should have a longer cutting area, right? So by which you can easily differentiate your GG drills and the piezo rimmers. P, P simply you can remember as post space. So post space should be of longer length. So easy to identify the piezo rimmer and the GG drills. Okay. Further important things to be focused are it has a flame shape, which has a flame shape. This looks like a flame, right? So GG drill has a flame shaped end. Okay. And it has a long thin shaft and it has a shank. The shank is latch type shank. Okay. It has a latch type shank and it has a long thin shaft. Okay. What is this use? What is this use? So because it has a long thin shaft end and a flame shaped head with a safety tip. Okay. You have a safety tip here. This tip is very safe and this safety tip always helps in guiding into the canal. It always helps in guiding into the canal and the safety tip also prevents the occur occurrence of perforations and it has his cutting edge on the lateral sides, which can be gently moved epically, direct, epically with some sort of pressure to open the orifice. And the main use of this thin area is whenever this cutting edge is fixed into the dentin, okay, the instrument will break at this area. This is the weakest area where the instrument is going to break. Whenever it breaks at this area, it is very easy for you to retrieve out. Means whenever the fracture segment, the broken fracture segment can be easily removed. That is a basic advantage with which it is prepared. Okay. Make a note. It has a safety tip. The safety tip is always going to guide you. What are the primary uh, uses? The primary use is the removing of the lingual shoulder during access preparation, the anterior teeth and the enlargement of the root canal orifices are the two main functions of the GG drills. The second one is a piezo rimmers. Already discussed, piezo rimmers are useful basically for the post space preparation. Okay, apart from the post space preparation, they can also be useful in removing of gattapacha. Okay, gattapacha can be removed. I mean, the instruments which are useful for removal of gattapacha, even with hand instruments, you can remove. The best hand instrument to remove the GP is uh, your H file or you can use C++ file also to remove the GP and the similarly you have chemical plasticizer techniques also to remove the gattapacha and similar way during the post space preparation piezo rimmer can also be useful to remove the gattapacha okay so these are the important things that you have to make a note so apart from this uh, uh, the other important things like both these piezo rimmers as well as the GG drills they are inflexible okay so when you have an inflexible rotary instrument it should be used at a low speed so they can ask you but what is the speed that is used so the speed is 750 to 1000 rpm is the speed that is regularly useful for these instruments and the next one as in today's examination okay there were few questions given on uh, just by giving an instrument they are asking the size of the instrument many of you has doubts okay how a gg or a piezo rimmer size is identified is by counting the number of rings on the instrument you can see here this gg has one two three four it has four rings okay so it is number four gg whereas your piezo has one two 
three. It is number three piezo rimmer. Okay. So make a note basing upon the number of rings you are going to know the number of the number of the number of the size of the GG drill or the piezo rimmer. I hope it's very clear, right? So now you can easily identify by counting the number of rings and you can tell the size of the GG or piezo. So how? Okay, the number ranges from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. GG starts from 0 0.5, add 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 0 0.2, 0 0.9, 0 0.2, 11, 0 0.2, 13, 0 0.2, Clear? Simple. Now, when you are counting piezo, piezo, okay, piezo means is already said here by seeing the diagram you can tell the piezo is a bit bigger bigger brother so when compared to the smaller brother the bigger brother will have 0.2 extra so it is 0 0.2 next size will have plus 2 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 okay so it starts from 0 0.5 to 1.5 it starts from 0 0.7 to 1.7 piezo is bigger brother so 0.5 extra every every piezo same number of gg to piezo point point two extra will be there you can see all point two extras right i hope this is clear a few people were very confused about this how to identify how to by simply giving the diagram how we can tell the size the size can be told by counting the number of rings on the instrument okay so done for now, signing off Dr. Srikanth from team MDS Conquer.